What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Movie Quotes Jones Let's Play of Silent Hill. We are nowhere. And we are everywhere. No, we're just nowhere. That's all we are. Now, those of you with a keen eye may notice that the timestamp here is slightly different than when I concluded the last part. You know, nowhere part one. And that's because, look, I fired all of my guns almost empty. The handgun is completely out of ammo. I just wanted to spare you the boredom of watching me do that. I want to be completely out of ammo by the time I reach the last room of the game. You'll see why. It'll make sense. I bloody promise. Okay, so we are going to hang with the shotgun for now. Uh, and we have a fey leg key, so we're going to go open up the fey leg door. What do you think about that? It's not like you can tell me. Actually, you can. You can tell me in the comments. Right after you smash that like button. Now, if you know how to actually pronounce these names, Phaleg, Haggith, Ophiel, I assume that's how you pronounce it. I mean, PH makes an F sound, doesn't it? Oh, it's a larval stalker, but these ones actually can cause you damage, so. Bethor, I, I, I believe that is... Fuck! Okay, you wanna know what, Laurel Stalker? I was gonna let it go. I'm gonna leave it, let it be, man, but you just wouldn't let me. Keep fucking with me. Anyways, I believe that is pronounced Bethor. I don't know if it's Bathor or Bethor, but... Oh, remember these plastic bottles? Alright, now... No, we will not take the Dagger of Melchior. You want to know why? Because if we do, Aubrey 2, Part 2 will get us. Instead, we're going to use this rustic, hefty-looking ring. Then we'll take the dagger. Yes, whatever is in there would have eaten us, and we would be dead now. Okay, so this is the the Beethor door, the Beethor door. <laughs> Got some gangland graffiti in here. Oh dear. Now, is this the eye from Resident Evil 2? Or is it the eye from the movie Congo? You decide. Detonating graffiti. Or scandalous graffiti. I don't know. I'm talking about Demolition Man, of course. Alright, let's see what we have here. Yeah. Health drink ammo and a door. Let's get the health drink. Let's get this dag on a little, little health drink. Never have too many healing items, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, alright. Now we have another huge plot point coming up here. Oops. See what I mean? <laughs> I mentioned in the last installment that I instinctively reached for circle to bring up this menu. All right, pay attention, everybody. Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. I promise. Oh, please. Can we watch it again? Nope. 
So that was clearly Lisa's voice, wasn't it, y'all? I wonder who she's talking about. Who could it be? Who could it be now? Ah, I whistled that really badly. Men at work would hate my guts for that. But that's okay. They're not here. Okay, let's see here. Is this another... The Eratron door? I'm assuming I'm saying that word correctly. Again, I don't know. If you know, please tell me. I am actually interested. All right. Interesting. Have we seen this outfit before? Kind of. Remember the picture of Alessa? We have the drawings, right? Let's see here. Oh, look, we have a bug collection. Kind of interesting that we fought a giant moth earlier in the game, isn't it? Nothing unusual. I love how he says that. It's like, dude, every single square inch of this entire room is unusual. Okay. We have a bed here, but he's not going to let us know about that. Now this door is where we're eventually going to drop off all of these uh, pieces. Unveil thy fate. And we don't have five yet, though. We have one, two, three, four. So... We now need to find the Eritron key and the Bethor key. Hey, look, cards. Good thing we didn't have to fight a giant ace of spades. Although there was a card key, right, in the school, remember? Mimby? Uh, but, um, I am at a total loss for where these keys are located. So we're going to check this room again. Actually, I bet you one of those keys is the electrified one, which means somehow we got to get to the basement and shut the power off. And the reason I assume it's the basement is because, number one, I played this game before. And number two, because it's the only part of the hospital slash nowhere we have not been yet. Let's see, is there a door here? There is not. I feel like we've been in this door already, but you know what? God damn it, we're going back through it. Okay, that's where we watched the tape. Now, who could Lisa have been talking about? Well, maybe you know. I won't, I mean, probably if you're watching this, you know. But if you don't know, I will try not to spoil it. I kind of already did spoil it in a previous installment. I don't think there's anything else to be gained by being in this room. So, let's go through here. And what was this, the 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 Haga, the Phaleg door? Oh god, there's no map. I don't have any idea where I've been. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear.
This is the... Okay. Alright. So, if I had to guess... This is the door... The B this is the B-Thor door. We need to find the key of B-Thor. Um... One of those is the electrified. We need to figure out how to get that electrified key, and we need to figure out where the damn key of Bethor is. Hang on a second, I'll come back. All right, my apologies. Nature called, as it does when you uh, drink most of a bottle of sangria. Okay. I want to check all these rooms one more time. This is the Bethor door. Have we gone in here yet? I feel like we've hit all these rooms already. Maybe there is another thing in here that I missed. Is it possible? I'm doing what I would do if I was Doom Guy, and I'm just kind of humping the walls. I'm going to stay away from this thing, though, because big scary monster will eat me. All right. So. Now we'll try this door again. One of these rooms is the graffiti room. It is not this room. here. That's handgun bullets. I don't want these. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, we got some jelly <laughs> jelly beans. 39 flavors. Gee, I wonder uh, what brand. And we have the Beethor key. Thank God. That wasn't too big of a deal. I just didn't check this room thoroughly enough. I saw the handgun ammo and figured, yeah, that's it. Nothing in here. Let's go open that Beethor door, shall we? I think that's this one. It is. I think it is. Like I, <laughs> I literally just checked it five seconds ago, guys. Don't listen to me. Here we are. Okay. No, I do not. It's stopped. I believe it stopped. Thank you very much, because I want to go get that key that would have shocked us if we touched it in the last installment. Shaka bra. But now I don't think we can take the elevator because I shut the power off. So now we need to. I th think. Do this. Oh dear. I am going to shoot him, though. That's not really a larval stalker, is it? It's just a, uh... It's just a, uh... Invisible gray child. 
Larval, larval stalkers didn't have knives. All right. Let's see, which one of these doors could it be? Oh, man. All right. Wait, this is a warp door, I think. Nope, takes us to the elevator that we can't use. There is a warp door here somewhere. Which one is it? Is it, the, is it this other double door at the end that looks the same? Or this double door, I mean? Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking with grease. Da! Da! And there's more, but it's okay, because I have enough shotgun and rifle ammo respectively to deal with it but i'm not trying to get killed here so we're gonna health drink it up i think i think this is the room yeah awesome we have our eritron key So now we can go down and open up the Eritron door. And now we know how to get there, so we can be pretty efficient. Die. So we have this door to get us back. Reload real quick. Bastard. Uh, is it through the Phaleg door? I think it is. It is! And we have our Eritron. That's, that's Bithor. Eritron is... Yeah. This is it, y'all. I think this is it. Everything is going according to plan. Sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Half the soul is lost. That is why the sea lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk? Is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Never fear. The promise shall not be broken. But the power we could draw now will be very weak. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure. Okay, so, remember the videotape? Do you remember it? Remember this photograph? Remember it? Alessa. So we're talking about having a child in extreme pain. And the child's injuries were described in the Lisa videotape. Could it be that that child was Alessa? Now I believe we have all five of our items, so I think we can go ahead and proceed. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we are ready to proceed. I have too much bloody ammo. Bloody. Listen to me talk. Listen to me talk like a limey Brit, huh? Where is... I don't remember where it's at now, though. Shite. Uh, ooh. is it here? Is it? Is it? Is it this door? 
It is. Okay. I don't think we have any other enemies to fight either. And we have one. Uh. All right. I'm going to fire these guns empty. I don't mean to shoot you here. That looks, that looks kind of violent. Okay, good. All right. We don't have very much left to go. Now, you will see very shortly why I'm doing this. And it was kind of boring to watch, and for that I apologize. But I have my reasons, and you'll see what they are. You probably, you know, again, I, I've said this a few times. If you if you if you're watching this video, odds are good that you know what's about to happen. Now, remember Harry was talking to Sybil. Uh, back on the merry-go-round about how they picked uh, Cheryl up on the side of the road. And uh, it was about the same amount of time ago. Oh, right, all right. Well, that becomes very important here in this, in momentarily, too. you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. Mommy! Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? No, I am not 100% sure uh, exactly what that's supposed to mean. But that little girl is pretty clearly Alessa, right? And that woman is pretty clearly Dahlia, right? And I'm not really sure who the guy was. Uh, so in that previous cutscene, we had Dahlia. And then we had Alessa, presumably, in the hospital bed. And then we had Kaufman. And then we had another guy. I'm just going to call him Jerome. For some reason, I've always just called him Jerome. Uh, talking about the soul being split and casting a spell and the pain drawing somebody and all that okay so keep all that in mind we have jerome and kaufman and dahlia working on this girl in the hospital bed who is presumably alessa trying to re reconcile half of presumably alessa's soul with the soul of somebody else now maybe you remember this maybe you don't but cheryl very strongly resembles alessa Also, this is apparently artwork in the Gillespie household. And this would explain why we keep seeing all of these uh, hung up, strung up by barbed wire uh, bodies all over the damn place. 
Here we go. Cheryl, what have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her many times, restored to her former self. I have no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. Doing this. It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. When we return to the true paradise, my daughter will be the mother of God. Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. Won't get away with this. Your work is over. We don't need you. What do you think you can accomplish by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Love with this. I 
That is some good cackling, man. Holy shit! Alright. Okay, now. Cock aim shoot. Cock aim shoot. Cock aim shoot. And it's over. That's why I wanted to be out of ammo. You show the incubator here that you don't have any ammo. And she immediately dies. Harry is the ultimate Silent Hill badass. Do something about it. The mace. Rat Sybil is still alive. So is that wretched Kaufman. But not for long. We don't know what becomes of him, but uh, I assume it's bad. Now, some of you with a very keen sense of understanding may realize who Harry is currently holding on to. Even this music is just perfect. Okay, now as the credits roll, I'm going to do my best to explain what just happened here, okay? So, uh, major spoilers for Silent Hill 3. So, uh, get, get ready here, okay? Um, Alessa is who this game ultimately is actually about, right? The, the, the girl who Lisa described in the tape as being all covered in burns and all that kind of shit, right? The nightmare world is, uh, well, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, Alessa is basically the most important character in this game. We don't see a lot of her, 
but she's responsible for the nightmare world. She's responsible for all the monsters that Naoko and Masahiro uh, designed. Um, and she is doing everything that she can to prevent uh, the soul of Cheryl, Harry's adopted daughter, uh, to recombine because she does not want the god to be birthed. That's what they were talking about towards the end at the top of the staircase. Right? Uh, that's what Alessa and uh, Dolly were talking about towards the end of the game at the top of the staircase. And when the nightmare world is projected due to Alessa's psychic powers, that is happening as a side effect of her using her mental faculties to prevent Harry from uh, using the flower rose on her and, and, and her reuniting with, with, with Cheryl. I don't know ultimately what happens to Cheryl. It's my opinion that she's abducted almost immediately after the crash and I don't know if I don't know if Dahlia killed her right away or not, but it's kind of implied that Dahlia killed her, or at least put her in close enough agent or close enough uh, proximity to Alessa, who is alive but perpetually suffering from severe burns, uh, to combine and make one soul to get the the, the incubus or the, the incubator, excuse me to be born that's the final boss is the incubator um and so yeah so Alessa projects the nightmare world onto the town when she doesn't have enough energy to contain it because she is trying to prevent this union from happening ultimately her efforts fail because Dahlia tricked Harry into tracking Alessa down and using the flower rose right which cages her and and and, and uh prevents her from using her powers. So, oh, we have the blooper reel here. How'd <laughs> oh, that hurt? God damn it. Um, Harry ultimately succeeds in shutting down the incubator and as a result, uh, a baby is born, right? And that baby is handed to Harry as he runs off into the proverbial sunset with Sybil here. And unbeknownst to us at the time, that was Heather Mason's first appearance. So if you go and watch my Let's Play of Silent Hill 3, or if you go play it yourself, which I strongly recommend that you do, uh, you'll understand all these references that are made in Silent Hill Part 3. So, just to summarize all that rambling that I just did. Uh, Dahlia conducted a ritual to try and force Alessa to birth the god. It went south. And resulted... <laughs> it resulted in an accident. I forgot that part. It resulted in an accident that caused the boiler uh, of the Gillespie household to go up and explode. And... Uh, that's what caused Alessa's severe injuries. They kept Alessa alive under a spell in order to both nurture the god and to uh, draw Cheryl, the other half of the soul, back. Harry was tricked into using the Flauros on Alessa to uh, to uh, quash her efforts to quash Dahlia's efforts to uh, rejoin the soul. The soul got rejoined. Harry looked at the monster hard enough and killed it. And then uh, the monster died. Alessa hands Harry a baby. That baby is Heather. The end. Now, if you're not totally sure what all that shit means, uh, then just find me on Facebook somewhere and uh, I will do my best to explain it to you there. Looks like I got a pretty crappy rating, but I still got the blue gem, so if I want to come back and do the... Oops, I dropped my controller. If I still want to come back and do the UFO inning, I can. It looks like I got the gasoline for the, the chainsaw and the rock drill or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's alright to save. If you're still with me, I sure do appreciate you, and I hope you had a fun trek through Silent Hill with me. Uh, Jessica, this was for you. And, uh, 
this this run was in your memory. These this cafe, this cafe, this cafe, this cafe. All these cafe saves were yours. And I'll leave them on my memory card in memory of you. We miss you and we love you. Uh, and if you're still with me watching this, I love all of you too. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your night or whatever you're having. And I will see you in the next Let's Play. Peace out.